Hey guys, welcome into another overclocking video. So we've got the 6700 XTs on the bench, all three of them, and we're mining Ravencoin, and we're getting 360... 370 watts average. Call it 370 watts average, and yeah, I'll jump into the sh software and show you how much mega hash we're getting on Ravencoin and what overclocks I use to achieve that. Hey, so we're in the software side of things now and I've got the numbers up on the screen. 370 watts at the wall minus the 17 watts system idle brings us to 353 being used by the three GPUs. 353 divided by 317.7 watts. Uh, 25.2 mega hash is what we're able to achieve it did just drop down there but it has been getting roughly 25.2 on average uh, i'll probably jump back up in just a moment but yeah that's the average and divided by 117.7 equals an efficiency of 0 0.2141 uh, so not quite as good as the 6600 xt so we got 2141 on the 6700, so this is 2414, which is better. And then the 6600 non-XT, 257. So uh, by far the best is the 6600. <clears throat> and the worst so far of the GPUs that I've tested, 6700 XT. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I don't think these are going to come back up now. Um, we'll give them a minute. They should come back up to 25.2. That's what they have been roughly averaging. I mean, you can look in the other uh, graph here, uh, where I'm showing my cursor and then getting 25 point, oh, sorry, 75.6 in total, which divided by three is 25.2. Uh, and that's pretty much what I've been getting most of the time. It looks like it just slightly dips below a bit and then comes back up afterwards. And yeah, it's on its way back up now. Uh, so I have a couple of different overclock settings. So the first one at the top uh, is if you watch my Ethereum video for 6700 XT, you know I've got one GPU that doesn't like 1075 memory. I've got it at 1065. And yeah, I believe that's the only different setting uh, with the exception of the SOC setting. Oh no, they are all the same on SOC as well. Uh, so the only different setting is the 1065 for the memory clock. Everything else is the same. 1400, 670 on the core voltage, 610 on the memory controller voltage, 1075 probably for your memory clock. Uh, unless it crashes your GPU, in which case reduce it until it doesn't crash it. Ten, uh, sorry, 1250 on the memory. You can get a little bit lower on the memory, but I ran into stability issues with that. And also you can kind of go a little bit lower on the core voltage as well. But again, stability issues. And also I started losing mega hash when I was dropping this down to 665 and 660 so you can get a little bit more efficient for uh, slightly less mega hash but yeah probably this one can go down a little bit more uh, potentially but I had I think it was the third GPU was kind of unstable uh, if this went any lower so I kept it at 1250 just try to keep all the settings the same and kind of same thing with the SOC VDD max this, this starts to happen when you have like more than one GPU, like if you're just testing one GPU uh, it's quite easy to get them to their most efficient settings just with one, but when you've got multiple of the same GPU it's like one of them is going to have this the worst silicone lottery for each setting uh, and you're just going to have to set them all by that one. It's quite hard to determine then which one crashed the rig uh, and then to change it. Uh, there are some indicators like if the if I change a setting and then the uh, wattage drops down to like 20 or something then I know or like on just one of the GPUs then I know that's the one that's 
like about to crash the rig or if the fan percentage goes to zero or the temperatures go to zero then I know that's the one that's going to crash the rig because um, it's yeah, stopped mining first so it's the one that's caused the issue uh, yeah I found that doing Ravencoin I had to reboot the rig a lot every time I change a setting it would react differently after I rebooted it so I just reboot it after every time I changed a setting and that way it would be what it's actually going to be every time I reboot it so yeah had to do that just a point to note um, another point to note in my last or oh, sorry my very first video I made on this channel I did a ETH and Ravencoin video and just at the end I showed uh, basically just keeping the same overclocks as what I did on ETH and then just putting 1350 as the core clock and that is actually more efficient than this I got the wattages down much lower just by doing that uh, but I didn't have the full 25.2 roughly mega hash or 25.3 on some of them 25.4 almost so yeah in this video I've gone for the uh, as I've pretty much done with most of the other GPUs I've tried to get the maximum hash rate uh, and then make it the most efficient as I can um, but yeah I can make it slightly more efficient by losing mega hash uh, but it's not by much so yeah this is how I'm gonna keep it for if I ever mine uh, Ravencoin as opposed to Ethereum. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got for this video. Next video will probably be these same GPUs on Flux. So yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And uh, yeah, have a great day. See ya.